welcome everyone in this video i am going to discuss google interview question so this question was asked to one of my friends and i did solved it and i would like to share the approach with you guys so let's go over the question so the question states like you are given two rectangles on a 2d graph and you need to return the area of intersection right so if the rectangles don't intersect then you return zero so in the example you are given two rectangles and the for the rectangles you are given the top left corner and you are given dimensions that is width and height so based on dimensions you can easily figure out other coordinates right and similarly we are given th that information for the other rectangle as well so before jumping on um, to the solution let's try to visualize and understand how we can solve this question right so let's say we have rectangle like this right in this case um, if i have another rectangle like this right so the common area would be this so i would need to find this one right let me zoom in so that it's clear correct so we need to find this area now what observation we can find is in order to find this area obviously um we know let me change the color so we know this point we are given this point and obviously we are given this point so based on that we can figure out other four coordinates for both the rectangles right now the main difference is the a for the area we basically need somehow to know how much is this height this whole height here and then similarly this whole width that i have drawn using the green color right once we know that um, we can just multiply them width into height and we can find the answer right so let's try to visualize this let me remove all of these let's try to take some coordinates and understand how we can find this now i have the diagram here like this correct now what i'm going to do is we are given let's say x1 y1 and here we are given x2 y2 right and using this obviously we are given dimension so we can find let's say this is x3 y3 so this is the bottom right corner for rectangle one so this is rectangle one this is rectangle two or maybe oops this is rectangle two and then this point is x4 comma y4 right now now what happens um, if you see in order to find um, let's say the the width that we need let me mark it with green so this is what we need right so in order to find this what if if i can find these two values if i can find this value and this value that i have marked with red this two coordinates then i can see the distance between them that will give me width right so what are these coordinates so the, the first red coordinate let me go here and create its value so the first red coordinate its value is basically what um, this is um, this is basically min of you see x3 and x4 right so out of that what is the x coordinate of this coordinate so which is minimum of x3 minus x4 right and for this one if we see this is basically max of x2 comma x1 right and once we get that if we subtract these two so let's say this is a and this is b so if i do a minus b i get what um, the width right so i get width and similarly i can do for the height let's say i need this height right so in order to get this height uh, what i can do here is um, let me remove all of these extra things okay uh, 
okay yeah so now i need to get the height so i need this value right so in order to get that let's say if somehow if somehow i can get um this value uh, which is uh, so y coordinate for this and y coordinate here somewhere here so i just need the difference between these two right so this is what this is basically this is basically um here it's basically y3 y4 so this is minimum oh sorry this will be maximum so this is gonna be maximum of y3 comma y4 right and this one is basically minimum of y2 comma y1 and if we take this different this is a this is b so if i do a minus b i get the height right and and this is how i can do width into height so this is this is the technique here now we can do a dry run on one of these values and if you do a dry run on these value you will figure out that if i do this same calculation um you will be able to get the get to the answer correct so there is one there is one correction here it should be uh, b minus a so this is the value that will give us height right now um let's to try to do a dry run on one of our examples so let me move the screen right now here wait yeah here let's take the example so our example is like oops let me do it with black yes okay so this is 0.5 um this will be width is 4 right so this is going to be 4.5 um the height is 3 only so we'll go down 3 steps which is 0.2 and this will be 4,2 right now similarly we have uh 1,4 right and the and the dimensions are 3,3 .3. okay so this do the same line which is 4,4 and then it's 3 so we go down 3 1,1 and we go till here which will be 4,1 right now as per our uh, formula so for the y y what we had was um oops for the y we had um uh, yeah we had a uh, minimum of y1 y2 right so which is minimum of uh y2 y1 which is 5,4 minus max of y3 y4 which is going to be our um, 2 comma 1 which is going to be 4 minus 2 which is going to be 2 so 2 is our height right and for the width we had the formula uh, which was um ma minimum of um, x3 x4 which is 4 comma 4 minus max of um x1 x2 right which was 0 comma 1 so which is going to be 4 minus 3 oh sorry 4 minus 1 which is going to be 3 which is our width so 3 into uh, oh my i went down the screen 3 into 2 will give us 6 so 6 will be our answer right and we'll get our um solution now you guys can will must be thinking that how 
it will work in case of scenarios like this let's say they are not overlapping so what will happen one of the formulas where we calculate height or width will be negative so when they are negative uh, we know that they don't overlap and that's when the answer is zero else for both we will get a positive value and we will get our answer and this is how we can solve this question um, in a very straightforward way uh, there is another approach that we can do which is more which will take a lot of space and uh, which would be there is a hint if you guys cannot come up with a solution um, this is the an another solution that I came up with um, it's not a good solution but it's a solution it is like we are given a 2d graph right so what we can do in that case let me move down so in that case what we can do let's say I have a, um, what do you say two rectangles like this now because it's a 2d graph let's say I create a 2d graph so I know I can make a matrix which could start from 0 comma 0 and the end point could be somewhere um, like here right so I can create a matrix uh, having this cells and then what I can do I can traverse over both the rectangle coordinates and then I can just fill up the matrix so only these cells here in between which I am shading with red um, th these will have basically oh yeah, let me, so these will have um, value of 2 and then that we know how many cells have value of 2 and that's our area but this is a very bad solution I won't recommend using this but if you guys um, cannot come up with uh, the mathematical way um, which is um, O of 1 we can actually try and go with this um, O of n square solution hope you guys like this video um, please subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up follow me on instagram and thanks for the support